Hey gang, Zippo. Uh, it must have been fate. I, uh, my daughter, uh, youngest daughter, had her uh, uh, some of her uh, all-star softball tournaments this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, yesterday, um, I usually make my rounds uh, around the pawn shops on uh, towards the first of the month, but I wasn't able to get out because of my being out with my back. So my daughter and I took off after the games and went to the pawn shop. And it must have been fate because... Uh, as soon as I got into my favorite one, this uh, Pittsburgh Tools click type torque wrench, sitting there, brand spanking new in the box, they had $9.99 on it. Well, I grabbed it and the head wouldn't uh, engage as far as ratcheting. And I knew that all it would need it was just a little bit of lithium grease in the head in order to get it to ratchet. So. I offered, I showed him that it was stuck, and I offered the guy nine or eight bucks for it, and he took it. So I got a torque wrench for eight bucks um, plus tax. But this is uh, about as generic as you can get, but still accurate enough to take care of most of your common everyday uh, torquing needs. Uh, this one is a half inch drive, and it's a foot pound. It's got all the graduations right there. It says foot pounds torque and I can read it. Then it's got the metric on the other side. And this little knob right here locks and unlocks. So tight get your setting where you want it, tighten that down, and then as you push down on it, you should hear an audible click. So I just put this wheel back on, just put the bolts on lightly and we're going to torque them down. I'm going to torque them down to uh, let's get this around here. Turn it up. Um, I figured this out to um, get it to click correctly. I tighten it past the degree that I want and then I come back to the foot pounds that I'm actually going to use. So I'm going to tighten these bolts down to 50 foot pounds which will be plenty. So and it's actually a half a turn to go 10 foot-pounds. So it's 180 degrees per 10 foot-pounds. So right there, I've got her set at 50, which is on the left side. I'll tighten that down, a 5 8 wrench or socket. And we're going to tighten these, see if we can't hear that audible click uh, that you're supposed to hear when you are torquing bolts down. Now I usually hold the head just to stabilize it and then I grab the handle and push until it clicks. Hear that click? That's pretty audible but at the same time the head is pivoting ever so slightly. Okay, So on top of getting it on top of the audible you should also feel it move okay there you go that's all there is to it uh, and it, it is reversible but it does say um, that it does not recommend that you use it as a breaker bar and I can understand why um, th th this end of the wrench isn't really designed to take uh, a hard heavy impact any stronger than the 150 foot pounds that it's rated at here so any more than 150 you know any more than 150 pounds put to it uh, may very well do some damage to the internals and it'll stop clicking on you. But there you go. Um, it's just a quick little down and dirty, simple how to torque down your lug bolts, torque down uh, any foot pounds. Inch pound wrenches obviously are shorter, and uh, but they measure the same way. Turn them down, lock it, and do the same thing until you get your audible click. And if you don't hear the audible click, you can at least feel it when it pivots. So that's what your wrench should be doing. If it's not doing that, 
It might be time for a new one. Zippo. Later. I'm out.